Tonight, Western North Carolina is reeling from Hurricane Helene's deadly wrath. Oh my God. And desperately waiting for help. In the city of Asheville, streets are still underwater. Neighborhoods unrecognizable. Oh my God. Some people kayaking to safety. This home completely surrounded by rushing water. We were there when water rescues got underway. Days after Helene, the River Arts District remains underwater. Everything here a complete loss. Just more devastation on top of tragedy. I want to remind all North Carolinians that conditions on the ground remain extremely dangerous, even as flooding has, has continued. Alyssa Smith's only lifeline during the storm, her Jeep. We weren't prepared for the severity of the storm um, at all. Today, the first signs of relief making their way into town. Residents lining up, desperate for resources. Some people waiting up to 30, 40 minutes in line for a chance to get some cash at one of the few working ATMs in all of Asheville. Others, like James Workman and Jeannie Adair, beginning to get frustrated with the government's response to the catastrophe. At this point, you don't see a FEMA station set up, That's right? That's right. right, and we should. We should have by now. Yeah. yeah. Is I that do. concerning? Yeah, I yeah. mean, we expect more and we can't get out. Down in Florida, residents continuing to assess the damage after taking a direct hit from Helene. In Cedar Key, business owners trying to salvage what's left of their stores. What Mother Nature can do and the damage is just, it's incredible. Back in Asheville, a community picking up the pieces and preparing for the long road to recovery. This is the worst thing ever. It is the worst thing ever. I don't know if we can rebuild or, or be able to come back from this. George is joining us now from Asheville. And George, we're just learning President Biden is set to make a trip to the region. Yeah, that's right, Hallie. Late word from the White House that President Biden will visit Helene-impacted areas as long as it doesn't impede with search and recovery efforts. And on that note, you're taking a live look at where water rescues have been ongoing. We've seen teams there on boats looking through what used to be rooftops and cars, seeing if they can find anyone. But tonight, the big question for so many in this community is when that federal help will get here on the ground. Hallie? Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.